Our main goal is to add and subtract fractions that are not like, which is to say that they have different denominators. And for us to be able to do that, we need to find common denominators. And so our first objective is to look for uh, common denominators, also known as common multiples. To find the least common multiple, one way to do it is to write down multiples of the number. Uh, for example, for 4 and 6, the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, etc. Uh, multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, etc. Now out of those list of numbers, it looks like 24 is in common, uh, 12 is in common. If we go farther, maybe uh, 36 and 48 would also be in common. But the least common multiple is 12. And so that's what we want to try to identify because um, what we're going to do is we're going to change our denominator to be those common denominators. Here's an example uh, of getting us ready for adding uh, fractions. We have 3 fifths and we want to write it as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 20. And so the question we need to ask ourselves is what do we need to multiply 5 by to get 20? we need to multiply 5 by 4 but we can't just multiply the denominator to keep 3 fifths uh, to find an equivalent fraction to 3 fifths we need to multiply the top and the bottom by 4 which is essentially multiplying by 1 and multiplying by 1 does not change our fraction and so when we multiply this by 4 over 4 we get 12 over 20 now it's not in reduced form because we actually made it so that we have a specific denominator of 20. Uh, but that's what we want in some cases where we're going to need to add in our LCD our least common denominator is 20. So our final answer is 12 over 20. Now we're ready to add uh, and subtract fractions that are not like and the idea here is to first find the LCM or LCD, write each of the fractions with that same denominator, and then we can finally add, subtract, and then simplify if we need to. As an example, let's take a look at 1 half plus 1 third. And the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8. And the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12. And we see that 6 is the LCD. And so we rewrite our each of those fractions, multiplying it top and bottom by the appropriate number so that we get a denominator of 6. And so we get 1 half, multiply that by 3 over 3, we get 3 sixths. And we take 1 third, multiply that by, three, uh, by 2 over 2, and we get 2 sixths. Now that they have the same denominators, we can add them. 2 plus 3 is 5, and we keep the same denominator. 6 and we simplify if we need to in this case we don't so this is our final answer 5 6 let's do this problem where we subtract uh, 3 fourths minus 1 seventh uh, what's the least common denominator between 4 and 7 well if we write out multiples it turns out that uh, we're going to have a common denominator of 28 so the question is what do we need to multiply 4 by to get 28 uh, and what do we need to multiply 7 by to get 28? Well, we need to multiply 4 by 7 to get 28. We need to multiply 7 by 4 to get 28. So our first fraction, 3 fourths, will then become 21 over 28. And our second fraction, 1 seventh, will become 4 over 28. Now that they have the same denominators, we can subtract. And 21 minus 4 is 17, and 17 cannot be reduced anymore. 17 over 28 cannot be reduced anymore, so this is our final answer. Now let's take a look at adding and subtracting mixed numbers. And although we can always change our mixed number into an improper fraction and add and subtract like we did in the previous slides, uh, we'll take a look at another way to add and subtract mixed numbers by taking advantage of the whole numbers. For example, we have 12 and 5 twelfths, and we're adding that to 4 and 1 sixth. So the idea is to just take the fraction parts and get 12 over 6, or 12 
denominator of 12, denominator of 6, the LCD is going to be 12. And so now let's change our problem. Uh, it looks like our first fraction already has a denominator of 12. We need to change our second fraction so that it has a denominator of 12. And then we get uh, 4 and 2 twelfths for the second fraction. Now they have common denominators. Uh, we have to uh, all we have to do is add the whole number parts together 12 plus 4 is 16 and add the fraction parts together in which they have the same denominator so that becomes uh, 7 over 12 and our final answer is just going to be 16 and 7 twelfths let's do a subtraction over here uh, and we'll see that when we add or subtract mixed numbers we might run into some um, places where we need to borrow or carry. In this case we're subtracting. We have um, 9 and 1 fifths minus 8 and 6 over 20 fifths and we have uh, a 5 and a 25 so between the 5 and the 25 we can find the LCD. The LCD is going to be 25. So let's change our uh, top fraction or top mixed number, uh, multiplying it, multiplying the fraction part by 5 over 5 to get um, 9 and 5 25ths uh, minus 8 and 6 25ths. Now as we begin to subtract, 9 minus 8 is going to be 1, but we have a problem because we have 5 minus 6 uh, as something that we're trying to subtract. And so we can't do that. What we need to do is we need to borrow 1 from the 9 and we borrow 1 from the 9, we actually borrow 25 over 25. So borrowing 1 from the 9 is going to lead us with an 8 for the whole number part and 30 over 25 for the fraction part. So that's a 5 that we had originally and a 25 over 25 was borrowed from the 9 so that gave us 25 plus 30 a 25 plus 5 is 30. So now we're subtracting 30 minus 6 and we subtract the fraction parts 30 minus 6 is 24 and then we have 8 minus 8 is 0 so we're just left with 24 over 25 as our final answer. Now we're gonna do a problem where we have a mixed number and a whole number. Total weight allowable without overweight charges is 50 pounds. Traveler's luggage weighs 60 and 5 eighths pounds. How many pounds will travel or overweight charge be based on? So we need to do a subtraction problem here. We got 60 and 5 eighths minus 50. Now 50 is a whole number but we can change that into a mixed number by just putting 50 and 0 over 8 that 0 over 8 does not make any contributions to the 50 and so it doesn't change that value but by doing 0 over 8 we can write it as if though we were uh, doing the subtraction with uh, fractions so we subtract the fraction parts we get 5 eighths and we subtract the whole number of parts we get 10 so this person is going to have to pay for uh, an extra 10 and 5 eighths pounds over his limit. 